afternoon y'all i hope you are doing good for it's by the grace of god that you're here today watching this video well we thank the lord because of that well we're going to talk about god's everlasting love for us you know it is written in the bible that we love the lord because he first loved us what the lord jesus done on the cross was out of love for us he died for us that we could be made right with the lord and it is written in the bible if we confess our sins and ask the lord jesus for forgiveness the lord jesus is faithful and just and shall forgive our sins you see whatever anyone has done wrong to you forgive them just as how our lord jesus forgave you well we're going to talk about uh, god's everlasting love no one's love is greater than our lord jesus love our God is love. The true meaning of love is God. True love, true peace, true joy, true happiness, true true peace, yes, is found in the Lord and not in this world. Well, we're going to talk about God's everlasting love in uh, Romans 8 verse 35 to 37. I'll read Romans 8 verse 35. God's everlasting love, that topic. 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? You see, we should be we should be of one mind of Christ, believing and trusting the Lord. Being faithful in the Lord, no matter what, whether it is good times or bad times. When referring to bad times, I mean hard times. It says in 36, As it is written, For your sake, we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. 37. Yet, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us we are more than we are more than conquerors in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus you see our lord he's a good shepherd who goes before us and fights our battles and we need to be still and give praise to his holy name our lord he is the worthy lamb who is worthy to be praised now i want to encourage you to draw near to god have a more intimate relationship with the lord for the end times are near and stay booked in the word of god meditate the word of god you see a true disciple of the lord lives for god and not of this world as it is written in first john 2 verse 15 do not love the world but we are from heaven we are we are ambassadors of heaven here in this earth to preach the word of god the good news the word that saves souls the word that saves souls the word of god that saves souls now blessed are they that believe in the word of god for they shall not perish but have everlasting life which is a gift from God. And you know, it is written in the verse, uh, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Stay blessed, read your Bible, and I'll see you guys on the next time.